Hello everyone, welcome to the Wall Street TV channel. This video was recorded on April 18th, the Eastern Time. In this episode, we will focus on a major development. The shockwaves are reaching Shangdanhi, and the seven members of the Standing Committee have received the news that is making them furious. The U.S. intelligence agencies are currently compiling a report on the corruption within the Chinese Communist Party. The report not only implicates high-ranking officials such as members of the Politburo Standing Committee, but also reveals a hidden wealth of provincial and municipal party secretaries. However, what everyone is most excited about is how they obtain such top-level intelligence. Hotspot Depth focuses on a report compiled by U.S. intelligence agencies, which is expected to disclose extensive corruption and hidden wealth of Chinese Communist Party leaders before the end of this year. The report covers senior leaders such as Xi Jinping and provincial party secretaries. This report could impact U.S.-China relations and disrupt the Biden administration's efforts to stabilize its relationship with the Chinese government. The report also mentions that the Central Intelligence Agency has cataloged corruption cases in China, but previously publicized reports have now become classified. The Washington Times, a right-wing newspaper in the United States, reported on April 10 th that U.S. intelligence agencies are preparing a report that is expected to expose extensive corruption and hidden wealth of Chinese Communist Party leaders by the end of this year. According to the Washington Times, the 2023 Fiscal Year National Defense Authorization Act 10 d assigned by President Biden in December includes a provision that requires the submission of the aforementioned report in accordance with the law. As a note, Hotspot Depth reminds that on December 23, 23, 2022, U.S. President Biden officially signed the 2023 Fiscal Year National Defense Authorization Act worth $857.9 billion. Returning to the content of the Washington Post, the article states that Angela Song, spokesperson for the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, said that work on the report is currently underway. She told the Washington Post a column inside the Beltway that the office is aware of and actively working to fulfill this request. The bill, spanning over 1,000 pages, includes a provision 6,501, which mandates the Director of National Intelligence, Avril Haines, to collaborate with Secretary of State Antony Blinken to complete and publish an unclassified report on the wealth and corruption activities of the leadership of the Chinese Communist Party starting from December for a period of one year. The report aims to cover Xi Jinping, along with the 205 members of the Central Committee, 25 members of the Politburo of the Chinese Communist Party, and the highest ranking seven members of the Standing Committee. The U.S. intelligence agencies will also include the 29 provincial party secretaries in their report to assess whether they have any hidden wealth or connections to corruption. The article states that corruption is said to be widespread within the Chinese Communist Party system. Xi Jinping himself has conducted political purges multiple times against party, government, and military officials suspected of corruption. The annual threat assessment report released by the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency last month stated that based on the purge of senior military officials, including the defense minister, in 2023, Chinese leaders are almost certainly addressing the ongoing impact of corruption on military capability and reliability. The assessment points out that corruption is one of the several issues Chinese leaders are facing these leaders. Xi Jinping continues to frequently admonish, publicly warn, investigate, and dismiss based on the harmfulness of corruption. In recent years, the media has exposed several notorious corruption cases involving high-ranking Chinese Communist Party officials hiding their wealth. In October 2012, the New York Times reported that family members of former Chinese Premier Wen Jiabo, the Jiabo accumulated at least $2. 7 billion in wealth during his tenure in the party leadership. The Chinese embassy in the United States attempted to block the publication of this report. In 2016, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists exposed the Panama Papers, it, which implicated at least eight family members of high-ranking Chinese Communist Communist Party officials, including Xi Jinping in setting up shell companies in offshore islands to conceal and transfer massive assets overseas. Former diplomat and retired Marine Corps Colonel Grant Newsom said in his book When China Attacks that the public's anger towards corruption has made Xi Jinping and other members of the Chinese Communist Party leadership fearful. Newsom expressed skepticism towards Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign, which has been ongoing for several years, 
as it seems to focus more on eliminating potential rivals rather than eradicating illegal activities. He believes that corruption in China is deeply rooted within the communist system and that Xi Jinping is unable to completely eliminate it. This report is likely to disrupt the Biden administration's efforts to stabilize relations with the Chinese government. As part of its new policy of engagement and competition, the Biden administration is attempting to limit criticism of the Chinese government under the guise of responsible competition. The Washington Post article also states that the Central Intelligence Agency's open source enterprise, a, which tracks publicly available information, has cataloged numerous cases of corruption in China. However, reports that were once made public are now classified. Senator Marco Rubio, the ranking Republican on the Senate Intelligence Committee and a senator from Florida, Biddy and a senator from Florida, added legislation to last year's annual defense authorization bill that requires the submission of such reports. Regarding the dissemination of information about corruption among Chinese officials, in March 2024, Reuters exclusively revealed that two years after taking office, Donald Trump authorized the CIA to launch a secret social media campaign to generate public discontent towards the Chinese government. According to the report, three former U.S. officials familiar with the matter stated that the CIA created a small team to spread negative information about the Xi Jinping government using false online identities, while also leaking some negative intelligence to overseas media. Sources said that the CIA team targeted issues such as high-ranking CCP officials hiding illegally obtained funds overseas and corruption and waste in the implementation of China's Belt and Road Initiative. However, these former U.S. officials refused to provide specific details about these actions. They only stated that although the intelligence was disseminated secretly, it was all based on facts. Two former officials stated that the purpose of these actions was to create panic among China's top leaders and compel their government to invest resources in investigating breakthroughs in the tightly controlled Chinese network. Reuters quoted one former official as saying, We wanted them to chase ghosts. Returning to a report published in the Washington Post on April 10 th, it stated that U.S. intelligence agencies are currently drafting a report on corruption within the Chinese Communist Party. Following the 23 official year Defense Authorization Act, Section 6501 leads including the National Intelligence Director. The team at Wall Street TV did find a provision in the 2023 official year National Defense Authorization Act, signed by President Biden at the end of 2020, regarding a report on the wealth and corrupt activities of the Chinese Communist Party leadership. Following this clue, it was discovered that in December earlier this year, the Washington Post had actually reported on this matter, stating that, according to the provisions of the Intelligence Authorization Act for fiscal year 2023, which is currently in its final stages in Congress, U.S. intelligence agencies will soon be required to submit reports to Congress on the wealth and corrupt activities of senior Chinese Communist Party leaders, according to a legislative report from the Senate, as part of the omnibus spending bill. It is expected that President Biden will sign a chapter of the intelligence bill that requires reporting on the wealth and corrupt activities of the Chinese Communist Party leadership. This is likely the origin of the so-called U.S. intelligence agencies writing a report on CCP corruption. However, creating such a report is not an easy task. In late January 2024, a website called Intelligence Online disclosed the progress of the production of this report stating that the Chinese Communist Party corruption report was originally scheduled to be released in December 2023. However, there are indications that the deadline for submitting this report has been extended. A Chinese political observer analyzed on Wall Street TV that it is almost impossible for U.S. intelligence agencies to compile a report on high-level corruption in China because it is difficult to find wealth clues of senior Chinese Communist Party officials and the retrievable information. Current Chinese officials are very adept at protecting themselves. As a U.S. government, openly investigating officials of another country carries great risks. If the published report is found to be full of loopholes, it will further damage its own authority. Therefore, even if it is released, the content of this report is likely to be disappointing. However, as an observer, we should still wait for the release of this report with anticipation. All right, that's all for today's in-depth hot topics. For more information, you can follow the 60O Brief website at 6.brief. There you can subscribe to various newsletters that cater to your preferences. There are free packages available, as well as more professional paid packages for you to choose from. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.